as we look down this 50 meter range we prepare for the bronze medal match in the compound women's team event here in Sahertigan Bosch. We're going to see Turkey face India in this match. This is how they got here. Turkey shot a 2082 in the ranking round, ranked fourth. India a 2099 to be ranked third. Turkey beat Estonia in the quarterfinals before losing to Chinese Taipei. India impressed all, beating the Netherlands in the quarterfinals. But then they lost out in a very tight match against the USA. It's wet here in this fabulous city, but the crowds are braving it. Let's go down to the field of play and welcome the teams out here for this bronze medal match. Well, leading the teams out for this match is Turkey, led out by the world number two, 24-year-old Yeshim Boston. She's teaming up with the world number 23, Gezim Alma Akli, and the world number 139 at just 16 years old, Ipek Tomruk. Turkey will face the team from India. World number 57, 19-year-old Muska Nikira. The world number 250 at 28 years old, Rajkar. And the 22-year-old Jyoti Sareka Venom, who's the world number 24. Venom there with the red cap. She took team gold at the 2016 edition of these World Championships and the silver in 2017. The Indian team were here very early this morning and looked very comfortable and very focused talking to their coach. The Turkish team arrived, well, about 20 minutes ago, but they are the favorites here in this bronze medal match. India on target two, looking down the range, shooting to the right-hand targets, will shoot first for bronze here in Sir Hurting and Bosch. Aim Roki. Yes. Continue elbow tight. Short. Good. Down nine. A good sighter. A nine there. Confident. Okay. Round one. Shooting. Let's see. Anbas. Short. Let's see. Yes. Aim Roki. Yes. Aim Roki. Elbow tight. Puri. Elbow tight. Lots of strong encouragement from the coach, talking them through this. Venom rejecting the first arrow. Well, shooting there. 27 out of a maximum 30 and we switch over to the Turkish team. Vanessa, the tension is really high here. I totally agree. Very high and it's there's a lot at stake. Dur dur yayını, iyi nişan al, yumuşak dokun tetiğe. 
Bravo on uh, both Arten. teams starting the same way with a low nine and then finding the middle. Oh, they're exactly tied right now. Yeah, the strongest archers shooting with the lowest score. Yes. Rope ke bura. Aim rope ke. Continue tight. Continue tight. Rakhi. Shot. Nice. Level, level, level. Check that. Last check that. Last moment. Rope ke maar. Isi mokka ni. Yar var. Rope ke bura. Control karke. Rope ke bura. Yes. Elbow tight. Rakhni hai. Aim hoti. Elbow tight. Mm -hmm. The coach and Jyoti Sareka Venom providing support there for Kaur. Four, three, two, one, oh. ten. Right at the buzzer. I think it counted. Yeah, 120 seconds to shoot all of the arrows per team. And as you can see, India used all of those seconds. Ortada bekleyerek doğru zamanda Gizem. Bravo on, aferin. Haydi pek. İpek ortada bekle. İyi nişan al, kal ortada. Yumuşak dokun tetiğe. Aferin sana. Haydi Yeşim. Turkey found the center of the target here. Rahat ol. Boston shot an eight in her first arrow. She will definitely be looking to improve. Now nine ten line. It's marked up as a ten. So the early lead goes to Turkey after one end. They're two points ahead here. We have four ends in total. Vanessa. Uh, we said right at the top, the, the, the tension is very high here. Look, let's just look at the conditions here. They are very slippy out there, even though the rain has just held off. You're totally right, Karim. I, I just stepped out there about 20 minutes ago before the start of the first match. The shooting line seems to be very slippery with the rain. The crew have been doing a fantastic job of keeping the area as dry as possible, but with the intensity of the team matches, I think archers will still have to be very careful out there. Very careful indeed, and Jyoti Sareka Venom, who is the leading light in the team, she seems to have suffered from the tension more than most here, having to throw away that first arrow, and then you see how she recovered from that. This her second shot, getting a 10 after shooting the 8 in her first arrow. Now we don't see any of the athletes out there at the moment with uh, towels, although the coaches have got umbrellas. You're totally right, and I'm kind of surprised because the rain does affect an archer's equipment in a couple of ways. To start off, arrows have a tendency to drop lower in the target, which we saw at the start of the match. That's because their strings get wet and arrows have to fly through the rain to get to the target. Rain can also affect a compound archer's vision through their scopes. So you might want to check uh, a couple of the archers have some hoods on top of their scopes to keep the rain off of their lenses. Well, the crowd here still enjoying it. They are braving the conditions here because whilst the rain has just subsided a tiny bit, it was absolutely teeming down five minutes before the start. Slippy on the shooting line. So the trailing team, India, will shoot first. Let's see if they stick with their order. Kira shooting first, Kaur second, Venom third. Aim rope pura, elbow tight, continue tight. Excellent. So the start of the second end, and India trailing by two, start with a 10. Go 
रोके एम रोके एल्बो टाइट एल्बो टाइट टाइट रखी शॉट नाइन you can hear the coach saying elbow tight, and I think he's referring to their drawing side to keep them moving throughout the shot. Good 10 from Venom. And when you say about the drawing side, you mean the arm that's pulling the string of the bow back? Yes, exactly. We could either talk about the bow side, which is the side that's actually <laughs> aiming towards the target, or the drawing side, which is pulling. Well, you mentioned wow. dropping low there. That one in the yellow. She tried to correct for that a little bit at the end there. Nine. Well, Boston shot an eight on her first arrow in the first end as she found the center here in the second. Ah, oh, just outside the ten ring, I think. Nice 10 there, and uh, as Vanessa said, the coach talking about keeping the elbow tight there, referring to the arm that's pulling the string. Yes, end attack tight, elbow tight, was elbow tight. Shot. Nice shot there. Mm -hmm. Time running down again for the Indian team. Ah, I guess it's all right. <laughs> Venom, the most experienced, looking very relaxed there. We hand back to Turkey, who can get a maximum of 57 here. And shooting an eight there. Remember this is cumulative score here. So this is uh, all about India fighting back from the two point deficit after the first end. Well, all going left there for Turkey on their last three arrows. So they've dropped three points here. India were trailing by two going into the second end. And now they're leading. Well, the Indians have certainly adjusted their sights. Here are all their arrows uh, from both the ends so far. The first lot are over to the left-hand side, and now they've shifted in, Vanessa. It's really important to adjust to the conditions, and oftentimes it's the team that's best able to do that that wins the match. Well, Turkey possibly the favorites here, but at the moment, the early running at the halfway stage is for India, who lead by three. Well, my Punjabi's not that great, Vanessa, but they seem very relaxed. And the coach is uh, he's very vocal, he's, but he's very calm. Yeah, my, my Punjabi's not that great either. <laughs> but they seem to be having a good time out there. They seem relaxed. He's giving them great advice, it seems. And I think they're, they're just going to enjoy the moment. Well, enjoying it, they certainly are. Big smile on the face of uh, Raj Kaur there on the right-hand side. 
Venom making some adjustments to her bow. I wonder if she's just uh, drying things off. India made a big comeback this end. I mean, they were down three, uh, two points that first end, and being behind two points against a team like Turkey is, is quite a big deal. So very good job from India in the second end. Yeah, honing in on the center, the Indians, but let's not write off the Turkish team. Yes, in Boston, we caught a quick glimpse of her there, and she afforded herself a smile. Turkey will shoot first to start the third end here in the women's compound team bronze medal match. Well, that's a great way to start things when you're trailing. Bekleyerek ipek. Bekle. Bekle. Emin ol. Yumuşak tutun teti. Bravo. Aferin sana. Just caught the edge of the ten ring. I think that's a good shot. Yukarıda on to listen. Geçim sağ tarafı iyi otursun. Well, we see Boston, she's on the other side again, as you put it, catching the ten ring. They're using release aids here. I think a lot of people think that uh, all archers will pull the string with their fingers. What, what, what's that all about to start with? Actually, release aids help with yes. accuracy and consistency. I, I love to talk about the different kinds Continue in a bit. Tight. Continue tight. Short. Nine. Right hand well, it sounded like the coach was actually assisting with the aim of that shot there, asking to aim a little bit more right. Tight shot. Lovely shot from Venom there into the 10, but uh, they've given up one point halfway through this third end. Turkey to shoot their second three arrows. Oh, just a low left. I don't really know what happened there. She seems to be a little perplexed about it too. Oh, just adjusting the sight there a tiny bit. A little bit more. So smooth and so calm. And she shoots a 10, the second nine, the second arrow, a nine marked with an asterisk, which means the uh, Turkish may well get marked up to a 58 here. That will go to a measure, but now it's back over to India. Elbow tight, Elbow tight. Perfect, yeah, yeah. Okay, proper aim. Yes, elbow tight. Short ten. Ye bani baat. Aram. Aal ten. Aal hai. Breathing. Control. Apne aap mein. Relax. Jyoti bahut hai mein. Main kaun hai? Nine. Time running down again for Venom. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, that was close, but she shoots another 10. India have definitely got a 58. We wait for the measure to see whether Turkey will be marked up from 57 to 58. The Turkish team looking very comfortable and very relaxed here, but they are trailing even if they get marked up here. Let's go and hear what the target judge has to say. Yeah, I think the top number five, uh, five set and uh, any uh, 
X, 10, 10, 10, 10, 8. Well, I think that 9 has just been marked up to a 10. It was that second arrow that you said was hitting the 9-10 uh, ring uh, high there, Vanessa. Exactly. As long as an arrow is slightly touching the ring, it counts as the higher score. Well, you called it early uh, that it was uh, touching the 9-10 ring. Let's take a look at that second shot. Just at 12 o'clock, and it was, it was just inside. That's and, all that really matters. And as long as it's touching that ring, they will get marked up to the higher score, and that's exactly what happened. Exactly. An archer's arrows is maybe about five to six millimeters in diameter. So as long as it's just touching it, then it's fine. Well, there you go. It's being confirmed. Look, we talked about release aids here, and the, the two teams have uh, got different aids, right? Yeah, I think so. So if you watch the Turkish team, the first archer, she shoots a finger trigger release. So release aids, like I said, help with accuracy and consistency. And there's three main types, finger trigger, thumb trigger, back tension. Both trigger releases have the same idea. You slowly add tension on the trigger until it fires. The back tension release aid operates without a trigger. Instead, actually releases the string through rotation. Well, hopefully we're going to get lots of close-ups of that, Vanessa, so you can tell us exactly which aid each of the archers is using. So Turkey trailing here, going in to the last end, and they will shoot first. Here's an example of a finger trigger. Good start for the Turkish team. It's a close one. March is a nine. I wonder if that's going to go to a measure. Yezim is going to have a thumb trigger release aid. You'll see that she's now going to put her thumb slightly on that trigger and add tension. And that one going slightly right. I think that is a clear nine. But maybe that 28 will get marked up to a 29. I might be wrong, but I think all Indian archers shoot with a back tension release aid. You're going to see them pulling throughout the shot. Continue Well, India came into this final end with a three-point lead. They have a couple of points to play with in this bronze medal match. Yes, elbow tight, buddy. Elbow tight. Short. Ten. Nine. I may be wrong. I think those might actually be thumb release triggers. Thumb trigger release aids. And we see the Turkish arrow has been marked now for a measure. Nine. Now the Indian second arrow has been marked as well. So both teams could be on 29. Turkey have to put the pressure on with a big score now with their final three arrows. Oh, the 16-year-old shooting an X there. It still counts as 10, but it's just that little bit closer to the spider in the center of the target. And a 10 for Yesin Boston. So, a potential one, sorry, two, two nine for India here. They have room to move. Oh, nice 
shot there. It was a good timed shot, and I think it was very strong. So still on for a 2-2-9. That 10 taking the pressure off her teammates. Your 10. And another 10 there. Jyoti Sareka of Venom just needs an 8 to take the bronze medal here for India at the World Championships. Yes. More time. Tight shot. Tight pura. Short X. Well, an X to finish things off in style. A perfect 30 for India. They trailed by two after the first end, but they came back so strongly, adjusted to the conditions, and they've taken the bronze medal at the World Championships. Well, Vanessa, an impressive performance by this young Indian team. I think the name of the game is consistency. If you look at their scorecard, they started off with a 55, but they had 58 all the way through. The Turkish team struggled a little bit. Although they did have a high score, they weren't as consistent as the Indian team. Yeah, and that 53 from Turkey in the second end uh, paid its price, didn't it? Because it switched things around massively for the Indian team. I totally agree. I'm very happy for the Indian team, and I think they would be happy with their world championship bronze medal as well. Yeah, a first for Muskan Kira and Raj Kaur at the world championships, but there are India with Jyoti Sareka Venom taking her third medal in the world championships in the women's team compound. India are the bronze medalists in Sergeant Bosch in 2019.